Hi guys, so welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you craft a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. As you can tell by the title of the video, my Odin's Eye order finally came in. I did order the new Gila palette that they collaborated with Angelica Nickvis. I will be creating two looks, show you some swatches, and give you my thoughts on this eyeshadow palette and the quality of Odin's eye. So if that sounds like a video you would like to see, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, so here is what the package looks like and they did create a special box for this collection, which I thought was very, very, very nice. It does have some artwork here in the box. I did get one of the little like head scarves. You can use it as a head scarf or like a little scarf on your neck. Just like the palette, one side is color and the other side is like black and white. There's a little note here from Angelica and here is the palette itself. I also ordered the Saga of Freya which is one of the other palettes. I think when this collection came out, this is the only one that caught my attention, but I think you have to order a certain amount or else you have to pay for shipping. And that's why I skipped on this. So I'm actually glad that this collection came out because now I have both of these and I can finally get to test out Odin's Eye. This is my very first order from this company. It is a Swedish company and it is located in Sweden. All right, so here is the eyeshadow palette. This is the sleeve of the palette itself and it is in black and white and the actual palette itself is in color. This is Hela, the goddess of death. The artwork is representing Angelica as Hela in the palette, which I thought was so beautiful. Honestly, they did such a good job with all of the artwork if you're into that kind of stuff. Angelica definitely goes into detail a little bit more about Hela, the goddess of death. She is part of Norse mythology and she she like gives you everything you need to know about it. I am not well versed in it, so I will definitely link her video down below where she talks about her palette and just the reasoning behind every single detail in this palette which i found very interesting okay so let me bring you on in closer because we're going to get started i am going to do two looks so yeah first look let's get started okay now that we are nice and close and personal i totally forgot to tell you this palette retails for 43.90 unfortunately it is currently sold out on odin's eye website but I do believe there is a restock coming sometime in March. I'll put the date on the screen somewhere just in case you end up being interested in this palette after you see a couple of reviews on it. This is what the gorgeous palette looks like. I have not touched this, but I'm just so excited to play with it. There is a mirror in here. It's a little small. Um, but there is one. I don't use mirrors on palettes. I never have. I always end up sticking like the end of my brush in one of the shadows and I just, I don't even bother. I don't even know where I'm starting. <laughs> okay, so I think the very first shade I'm dipping into is going to be this pink one right here. Goddess is the name of that shade. This is a Sigma E40. I'm going to put this on the outer corner. I did already prime my eyes and I used my MAC paint pot. I did not set this down with any powder or anything and I'm going to do that technique that you saw me use in a couple of my shadow videos. I'm also going to bring this on the lower lash line about right here. That's what this shade is looking like. It's a beautiful pink. Now I'm going to jump in to Moss, which is this 
pretty mossy green. This is a Morphe and Ariel 820, so it's like a flat, fluffy brush. Hopefully this looks okay next to this shade. I don't see why it wouldn't because green and pink pair well together. So I'm kind of tapping it first since this shade is a tiny bit lighter than this pink. I am going to blend, but I'm kind of tapping first and then blending. I think I'm going to bring this shade right in here. Okay, this is what we're looking like. Now I am going to dip in to this shade right here, which is a shimmer shadow. Golden Bridge is the name of this shade. This is a E54. It's like a flat, fluffy brush. Hopefully the brush picks it up well. I'm going to put this right next to that green. Like that. And I am going to bring it pretty close to the inner corner, but not all the way. All right, and now with my finger, I think I'm going to jump in to this shade. Now I know it looks white, but I'm pretty sure it has like a peachy type of undertone to it. This is called Double Sided. Yeah, see, so pretty. I'm going to add that right in the inner corner like that. Oh, it's so pretty. And I am kind of dragging it because I want to make sure that it all blends nicely with that green shade. Now more than likely you probably want to do your eyes first and then your base because you're probably going to get fallout from the glitter. But yeah. And I think I am going to put just a tiny bit of this on the lower lash line and probably in the inner corner as well. Okay, and now with this Alamar Cosmetics, it's like a fluffy brush. I don't even think, oh, it's called the Detail Diffuser Brush. I'm going to dip in to the lightest pink in the palette, which is called Hella. And I'm going to use this to kind of blend out the edges of the green and the pink and just kind of make everything look airbrushed and not like it's just a line sitting there and i'm dipping in it very very lightly i don't want to add too much i just want to blend everything together and almost make it look airbrushed. I hope you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. Okay, this is what we got. I did bring a couple of liners. I brought like a nude. I have this green one, which I don't think it's a possibility. I have this pink one. I might go for this and then this blue one, but I think it's in between these two. Let me go ahead and do the rest of the eyes and I will be back. All right guys, here is the finished and final eye look. I did go in with some pretty dramatic lashes. I honestly didn't think they were going to be this dramatic. They are Tati Lashes. They did a collaboration with Jamie Genevieve, TL Jamie 2. I believe they're still in stock. I will definitely link them down below if they still are. I did go in with a pink liner, the one that I showed you. It's from NYX and it's the liner stick eyeliner. It's from the Epic Wear Collection in Peak Spirit, but I only used it for the waterline. And I did tight line just a tiny bit at the top with a black liner to kind of hide the band. But yeah, here it is. It's a very bold and out there eye look, but I really wanted to play with 
some colors that I don't normally play with and get out of my comfort zone. I didn't think this method would work with this type of look, but I think it looks okay. I think it looks okay. Okay, and here is the full face of the makeup. I'm not too sure about these lips. I feel they're a little too warm tone nude for this eye look, but I wanted to show you what the full face looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to look number two, which I feel will probably be maybe a little more toned down. I'm not sure yet. I don't pre-plan my eye looks. All right, guys, let's start look number two, and I'm going to dig in to, which is Decay, and this is just like a fluffy flat brush. Got it from Amazon. Quite a bit ago and i think i'm going to do or attempt to do a halo eye so i'm going to start with the darkest shade also trying a new style see how this goes this is a beautiful color that's very pretty and this side wing it out you guys already know that's my style i'm gonna bring it on the lower lash line uh, i think i'm gonna do like yeah all the way might as well just leave the inner corner bare all right this is what we got let me take a sip of my wine because uh there's a lot going on in the world right now Okay, I think I'm going to deepen that shade up a tiny bit, not too much. And I am going to go into Soot. I think that's how you say it. And it looks like a burgundy brown. Or maybe it's a dark purple. Anyways, I'm grabbing like the slightest amount. This is a LMR Cosmetics brush. It's a detail diffuser brush. And I'm going to lightly just add it right in the corner. I'm going to blend it out here just very slightly, not too, too much, and diffuse it out. I'm also going to bring it only on the outer corner of the lower lash. Okay, this is what we got. And these two shades actually look really beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to dip in to this shade right here. What is it called? Hellfire. It's a little hard to read the names because of the color that they are. It's the same color as the pattern here on the border. So like, unless the light is shining directly on it, it's hard to read it. Okay, so Hellfire. And I'm actually very lightly dipping into it. And this is going to go in the middle. I want to start softly and build it up. Oh, that's pretty. So even though it's looking smoky, this is going to add some brightness to it. It's such a beautiful shade. All right, that's what this shade looks like. It's so pretty. And we're actually very lightly going to dip in to River, which is this one right here. I know it looks smoky, but I'm hoping if I just grab it with like my finger and then kind of tap it on the back of my hand, just put it right in the center. I just feel like the reflection on that one's a tiny bit different. And I wanna see it even makes a difference it has like a shift to it too okay i think it did add just a tiny bit all right and for the inner corner i think i'm going to jump into this shade right here it is called fluorescence this is a morphe and jacqueline jh41 so it's like a fluffy flat brush hopefully this doesn't mess up the eye look but I'm gonna go right in here and I'm also going to add it right in the lower inner corner since it's pretty bare. Okay. 
Okay, and now to tie everything together, I'm going to jump into this shade right here. Wolf. This is a Morphe and Ariel A20, and I'm very lightly dipping into this shade, and I'm just going to use this to buff out the edges and kind of just blend everything cohesively. I'm going to very lightly go in here. Okay, this is the final eye look before I go in with mascara, lashes, and all the good stuff. Just wanted you to see it. Okay, I will be back. All right, guys, here is the finished eye look. I did go in with a nude liner. This is from NYX on um, the waterline, and I tight lined just a tiny bit where I felt it needed to hide the lash band. And I do have these lashes from the creme shop. I don't even know what the style is. It doesn't say, maybe not your baby. I'm not sure yet. And for the lips, I used one of Jacqueline's cushion um, lips. This is in Promised. It's such a beautiful color. Go ahead and scoot on out. So we can do swatches and talk about this palette. All right, here are the swatches for the first two rows. This is the first row and this is the second row. This olive shade, it felt dry when I swatched it with my finger. And this green shade felt very soft, like cushiony soft. Um, but yeah, here they are. Such pretty colors. I definitely feel like the first two rows are more like the green tones in the palette and then you move on to like the warmer tones. All right, here are the last two rows. This pink one also felt very dry, but honestly, swatches don't even tell the whole story because this shade was very, very pigmented. Um, and I think that's the only one that I noticed was like a little bit dry, but here we are. This shade is so pretty, it's that double-sided one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's talk about this palette. All right guys, here is what the full face looks like with eye look number two. I think out of the two eye looks I did, this is probably my favorite. Although pink and green look very beautiful together. Um, it's not a combo that I like to wear too often on my eyelids, but I'm glad I created that eye look because I definitely put myself out of my comfort zone and I like what I created. I hope you enjoyed the swatches. This palette swatched absolutely beautiful, honestly. Okay, so this Hella palette that Angelica Nickvist collaborated with Odin's Eye retails for $43.90. It unfortunately is already sold out which sucks if you are thinking about grabbing it but there's good news it's going to be restocked in March I'm just not sure exactly when I'll put a date on here on the screen but I know in March it's coming back in stock I'm pretty sure I should be getting this video up before then this palette has a 36 month shelf life and it was made in China I feel like all of the shades that I used performed beautifully and I used quite a bit of them yeah I feel like I used a good amount a good amount of shades and that is what I wanted to do I wanted to test out as many shades as possible okay well I hope you enjoyed the two eye looks and the swatches I had so much fun creating them and uh swatches are always fun too they're very therapeutic and besides that and my glass of wine yeah I definitely need uh that right now <laughs> everything is just crazy the world seems like uh keeps becoming a more dangerous and just ugly place if you ask me my heart is heavy i feel just like in a funk and a fog i take it's taking a lot for me to do anything right now so um you are not alone if you are feeling those feelings right now it's very hard to watch what's going on and what's unfolding and not feel that way you know I just hope that you guys have somebody that you can talk to. It always helps to talk to someone, even if it's just venting out how you feel. So guys, stay safe. Please stay safe. Um, I appreciate all of you and I am so happy that you joined me for this video. I hope you enjoyed what I created. I think that is it. Yeah, that's it.
That concludes this video of the review on the new Hella palette that Angelica Nickfist collaborated with Odin's Eye. It's my very first Odin's Eye purchase and it did not disappoint. I cannot wait to dig in to the saga of Freya. I think that's the name of the palette because it also looks very beautiful and I've seen nothing but great reviews on it. All right, guys. Well, don't forget to let me know down below which eye look is your favorite. I would love to know. If you're somebody that doesn't really love color, I'm sure it's this one. And if you're somebody that loves color, I'm sure it will be look number one. But I would love to know. So make sure to comment down below and tell me which eye look you preferred. With that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel and if you haven't done so already i would love it if you joined my small youtube family by clicking the subscribe button i would love to have you all right guys i will see you on the next video bye